So how has being Taiwanese American made you the person you are today? In terms of a Taiwanese American, in terms of like a, a being a racial minority, and especially being in the Midwest where there were really no other Asian Americans were uh, in the suburbs of the Midwest. Uh, you know, I think that it was, it's a, I would say it's a, it is a, uh, a situation in which uh, uh, you're going to be put into some, some cases where it's going to, there's going to be a little bit more stress and a little bit more pressure because you are, uh, you're one, you're unique, you're the only person in this area, and there aren't many other people to be able to look to in terms of getting guidance and being able to get, especially 20 plus years ago, before you could be able to easily communicate, be able to uh, reach out and find resources for help or for, for just to, to communicate and to talk. So I think that, uh, like, like, there's all sorts of pressure and all sorts of, you know, growing up and in, in, in business and starting companies and anything that you do. But I think the, uh, the racial card definitely does enter the picture. Uh, and I think that it's, it's a, it's a part of my interest to be able to make that as level of a playing field as possible. So you've donated to causes that support Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. So what do you think industry leaders like yourself can do more to help the cause? I know that I never had to go through a single day where, you know, um, I had to, uh, I had to think about w the just survival, uh, you know, on that part. I mean, I just that it, I had the ability to be able to do what I did because I was granted the, uh, the choice to be able to attend something like the Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy. I was given the choice to be able to uh, go to, at the age of 15, a boarding school and then be surrounded by other, other sort of 15 year olds that are interested in math and science and computers. And uh, I know that not everybody has that opportunity. Now, it would be unfortunate if it's just because of the circumstances that these opportunities don't present themselves that great ideas don't come to realization. And I think that if there's anything that I can do uh, to be able to, and it's not a lot, but it's just to be able to tell them the story and to be able to lend any kind of support that I could give to, to really, um, you know, it would be t such a, a, a missed opportunity if the, these, these kids that have great ideas, have great talent and great gifts, yet they're unable to do it because they're having a difficult time getting, you know, uh, meeting their hunger every night.